So, so first off, you had some interesting tweets about uh, Bob Stoops, Auburn, uh, but you didn't mention me. If you what, tell me a little <laughs> bit about, and, and we're mixing it up a little bit on Twitter. That's that's what I love about this about mm. college football. That's what makes it great. And uh, but tell me a little bit about what you understand about the Bob Stoops situation in general. Well, I mean, honestly, it was a it was a talking point about a year or two ago, um, really before um, the 2017 run began, uh, which really was in November. I mean, Gus Malzahn was on the hot seat uh, going into November 2017. He beat Texas A&M, beat Georgia, beat Alabama. Uh, you know, all, that that story sort of uh, told itself, um, you know, and that was, you know, what, what, four months after Bob Stoops had retired. So, um, you know, I think, you know, that, that was hot then. I, I don't think that really there's been any juice on either side um, because from, from Stoops' perspective, everybody I've talked to, um, you know, he's, he's content. I mean, he, he doesn't have to go through the grind. He doesn't want to go through the grind. There's no reason to go through the grind. You're he already, saying he you're grind, you mean, you mean recruiting, basically. Well, just in general. I mean, you know, he's but Because he's, he's coaching. He's, he's coaching. Well, and the yeah, XFL. Well, the XFL. I mean, wait a that's, minute. That's that, a I mean, little different. But I, but I totally, I totally get what you're saying about the grind and what that represents at a big program. Nobody knows better than than he does. What about Oklahoma though? What about his departure? What do you understand about the nature of that? Was he forced out? Was he burnt out? Why did that happen? I, I wouldn't say burnout. I just think he kind of looked at himself in the mirror and and said, "Hey, you know what? I I missed a lot of family stuff. Like I, you know, and a lot of coaches go through that, right? Like." You know, you go through your entire life and you're like, holy crap, like I, I, I miss my kids growing up. And then Nick Saban, you know, has even said that at Alabama where he's like, look, he's not saying when he's going to retire, but he's like, wow, I kind of enjoy the fact that I can go see some grandkids now. You know, that's that's a lot. A lot of coaches kind of it's almost like a coaching midlife crisis, right? Like you you kind of get to, to the middle of your career. You look around and go, wow, I, I missed a lot of stuff. And I think that's where Bob Stoops was. Um, they knew Lincoln Riley was going to be the coach there anyway. So if he already had that feeling, go ahead and, and hang it up and uh, and move on from there. And that that's kind of been, I think, his uh, where he's been really since then. He's he's living a good life. Why change? So are you saying that we should not expect Bob Stoops to be coaching, let's say, in the next couple of years in major college football? Yes, I would be really if he's ever coaching in college Re football again. Really, that's mm -hmm. interesting. Now, now the XFL now, is different, obviously. The okay. XFL is almost like a part-time job yeah. at this point. 